What's up, my lady loves, and welcome back to Pokemon Platinum version. In the last episode, we defeated Bertha and we defeated Aaron of the Elite Four, and now in this episode, we're gonna hopefully take on Flint and Lucian. So, off screen, I healed up my Pokemon, and I just walked over here. I didn't do anything really major, or I didn't, I didn't do anything really important. So yeah, nothing really done off screen, so keep that in mind. So let's go ahead and battle this guy. Yo, trainer, you had me counting the days at my fingers, waiting for you to come. That's hot. I heard from Volkner that you did in Sunny Shore. You managed to light a fire in that guy's heart again. How could you not expect me to look forward to a battle with somebody in the banana pants? All right, Ronald, let's do this. Sell me some freaking McDonald's burgers. Here we go. All right, this guy is a Fire-type Elite Four member. He's pretty dangerous if you have a lot of Grass-type or Ice-type Pokemon, but unfortunately for me, I I don't have that. Actually, fortunately for me, rather. But anyway, I'm just going to lead off with Pilocrap because he's actually pretty darn fast compared to this guy's Pokemon. So we're just going to go for E-Quakes and just wreck his whole team, pretty much, because these Pokemon are really, really, really easy, to be honest. This guy should have been the first Elite Four, in my opinion, because he doesn't really set up. Whereas Aaron actually has something to set up with. And this guy's kind of lacking in in defenses, and he's just he's not the best Elite Four member, but you know what? He's okay. So now he's gonna send out his Flareon. Um I think I'm just gonna stay in and go for some E-Quakes, so here we go. Take an E-Quake to the face. I don't get why Earthquake is super effective against fire. I mean it's just an earthquake. It should be super effective against everything. No, I'm kidding. But anyway, E-Quake will be enough to take down this Flareon. I practiced a little bit. Um, I practiced Lucian and I practiced the champion and oh my gosh we're gonna have some troubles against the champion I'm not gonna lie. It's gonna be really hard so I'm gonna sit here and think up, uh, think up strategies and stuff like that but anyway he's gonna go on with Rapidash so let's go ahead and switch out to Octopussy. I know he's just gonna try to put up a sunny day and all that jazz but uh, I'm just gonna surf him. See the only problem is with Octopussy is it's not super strong. It's really disappointing to be honest. It's not the best water type in the world. Wow, we used Bounce. I've never seen him do that. Every time I fought him he usually goes straight for the, the fire ball sack. I don't even know what it's called. And he paralyzed us. Lucky break for you, man. That is a really lucky break. Either way, Surf should do about half damage to him, and I think he's going to go for a sunny day next, so he kind of just wasted his turn. Wow, did we get a critical hit? Did we Did we get a critical hit? No, we didn't. Why did that do double damage? I don't know. Maybe we have an ability that has something to do with getting paralyzed, or I don't even know. But we killed that thing in one hit, so that's awesome. And you know what? I'm going to go ahead and try our luck here and stay out with Octopussy and see how much it does to this Infernape. I could go for an Infernape on Infernape battle, but hey, you know, I'm just gonna stay out. We're probably gonna die by this Thunderbolt though, or Thunder Punch rather. No, we didn't. Wow, Octopussy's doing well actually. All right, well here we go. Let's use that Surf, see how much damage it does to this Infernape. I'm hoping it kills it just because it would be pretty nice so I wouldn't have to send in any other Pokemon. Wow, wow, okay, that's just our luck. Well, while he heals out, I might as well go in with my Infernape. That's terrible. We we could have got him too. Oh well, that's fine. That's fine enough. We can do the Infernape on Infernape battle. I might just go for a Mock Punch because I know the, that this guy has Equake. So if you're actually trying to send out your Infernape on this guy, keep in mind he has Earthquake and he will use it. I believe I can afford to drop one stage of defense, but I I'm not for sure. So let's hope that I'm correct about this. Hopefully it can kill this guy. Yeah, I can drop one stage of defense and I will still live. Hopefully, anyway. Last time I tested, that was the case, but hey, you know, you never know with Pokemon. So let's see how much damage he does to me. Oh, please don't kill me. Please don't kill me. Oh, wait, he has... Okay, sweet. I knew I could afford it. So now let's just go for the Mach Punch and take him out. So good game, Infernape. It was a nice battle. I don't even have E-Quake, so... So yeah, it was already an unfair advantage. But here we go. Taking him out and getting some EXP for some... For some Octobuzzi. I'm kidding, that's disgusting. Well, anyway, now he's gonna go on with his last Pokemon, Magmortar. We're not gonna stay in and die. I'm actually gonna switch out to Pilocrab, and hopefully E-Quake will be enough to take this guy down. Oh, look at that, your last Pokemon. I can feel your determination. Your power, your will is overwhelming me. Ugh, that sounded really gay, but that's okay. That's okay, I don't judge. All right, so let's go for this E-Quake. Uh, take him down, maybe? I hope I can take him down. I'm surprised. Actually, is Magmortar slow? I don't really know the stats of Magmortar or or Electivire. I never really paid attention to either one of those Pokemon. 
But there we go, that's just enough to level up, and we are level 57. We actually need to get Infernape to level 57, because he learns a pretty great move. I'm blown away by this. Your Pokemon are hot stuff. They sure are. Good enough to be champions, huh? Whew, burnt me right down to cinders. All right, yeah, we sure did. All right, so let's heal up our Pokemon really quickly before facing on the next Elite Four member. So I'm actually loving the Elite Four in this game. Actually, Platinum was pretty fun to Let's Play, honestly. It's been so fun so far. I've had fun every single episode. I mean, aside getting frustrated at Volkner, that was probably... That was torture. That was horrible. You know what? We have a PP up here. Why not use it? Let's go ahead and use that on something. Uh... How about close combat? I mean, that's the only thing with, like, five power points, so, uh, why not? There we go. Close combat was increased. We have some max ethers, too, if we need them. You know, let's go ahead and use these, too. Protein. I'll give those to you, because you're pretty much our strongest attacker. And I'll give the last one to Jade. Alright, and iron defense. Okay, let's see. Who has... Who's def we need you to have that. I'm just going to give that to him. And special defense, we'll give that to Tropius again. Just because. I know it's, there's someone probably raging right now, like, Why didn't you do this before the Elite Four? Or, Why haven't you done this already? Or, Why did you give this to Jade? Or, Blah, blah, blah. Let me do my thing, and you can do yours. How about that? Alright, well, I'm gonna switch to Jade, because Jade's gonna be a big important... in A, a big important... It's gonna be a big key in this next battle. And this next battle is gonna be pretty challenging, to be honest. So just before we battle this guy... Actually, you know what? Let's just not save. I'm pretty confident that we can do this. Ah, you timed your arrival well. I've just finished reading a book, as you can see. Allow me to introduce myself. I'm Lucian. I am a user of Psychic Type. Psychic Type? Yeah, okay. Yes, yeah, great. I must say, you've already proven yourself to be an outs- To be outstanding. Why can't I read today? By coming this far. They say I'm the toughest trainer of the Elite Four. I'm afraid I will have to go all out against you to live up to that reputation. Alright, let's go. Elite Four Lucian, not Will. He looks exactly the same as Will. These guys are just like clones of freaking other generations Elite Fours. But you know what? That's fine. They're still pretty original. Somewhat. <laughs> Somewhat original. But anyway, he's going to lead out with a Mr. Mime. This thing will set up Reflect and will set up... Uh, what is the other one called? I can't even remember, but... Someone's probably going to comment it. I will see, because he'll probably set up with it. I think it's it's not barrier, it's light screen. Yes, that might be it. But anyway, one crunch should be enough to take this thing out, so good game. That was actually really good. I didn't think we were going to be able to take him out in one hit, but that's great. So now he's going to go in with Bronzong, which is a steel psychic type. So the only thing I really have to do good against this guy is Infernape. And I'm hoping that uh, Flame Wheel should be enough to get him to at least half health. So, And this thing is pretty bulky, so keep in mind... A lot of my Pokemon aren't really going to do well against this guy's team because he does have a really, really good team, honestly. He's going to go for the Psychic. Please don't kill me. I really hope it doesn't get the special defense drop either because that would just be a little bit disappointing. But, oh gosh, that was really close. I think we got him, though. One more Flame Wheel should be enough to take out this Bronzong. And this thing is a huge problem on his team. Honestly, I found Bronzong to be the most challenging Pokemon on his team other than Alakazam. So there we go, take that guy out, that is a GG. Alright, uh, he's gonna go in with Espeon, this thing, uh, we have an Espeon, it's a special attacking beast, it's it's a really good Pokemon. Mm, who are we gonna go in for this? Uh, let's just go in with Jade, I guess, see what we can do against this guy. I might set up some Toxic Spikes as well, I don't know, I don't really think we need Toxic Spikes. Actually, yeah, let's go ahead and set up some Toxic Spikes. Uh, let's. I'm going to speed this up while I set this up really quick. Holy crap. Okay. He confused us. I'm not having that, so I'm going to heal myself. Actually, I'm, I'm not having that at all. All right, let's heal ourselves. I'm going to speed up the healing ourselves part because, uh, you know, I don't know. <laughs> we're just going to do it. Come on, Toxic Spikes. All right. And we're going to heal ourselves again because that is lucky. You got really lucky with that confusion, to be honest. All right, so now we have one stage of that set up. And I kind of ruined his turn by going for that, but whatever. All right, let's just go for a crunch and see how much that does against this Espeon. I don't know really too much about its um, its stats at all because I'm not a Wi-Fi battler. But we snapped out of Confusion. Awesome. I really don't want any of our Pokemon to die either, so I kind of don't want to let him die. All right, let's see. Espeon taken down. Awesome. And now everything will get poisoned, which is great. 
So that's awesome. We gained some EXP from that. And now he's going to go out with Alakazam. This thing is easily the best special attacker in fourth generation. It is amazing. This is my opinion, though, so keep that in mind. Uh, let's go ahead and go out with Cloud, I guess, because we can't really do too much against against this guy because he does have Focus Blast, which wrecks most of our team. So that's, that's something you're going to have to watch out for. And it seems he hits it a lot. So he's poisoned. That's good for us. So let's go ahead and go for a Bite. He has Energy Ball, too. That's quite odd. But I don't think it's going to do that much against us. But, I mean, he is a special attacking beast, so took a pretty big chunk out of us. All right, but let's go for Bite. Hopefully it does half or about half. I mean, the poison should really help us out here. Yes, it does. That's going to make us able to kill him next time. So thank you so much for getting poisoned. Oh, that was great. So we've done good here so far. All right, one more Bite is enough to take this guy out. So that is good a game good game for him anyway and now he's gonna go into his last Pokemon Gallade. Gallade is a fighting psychic type Pokemon so watch out against this guy because it's really weird typing. He's actually pretty darn hard so I don't know what I'm gonna do here. I think I'm just going to um hmm I'm gonna stay in with Cloud and I'm just gonna try to get a Psybeam off and see how much it does just just for for the lols you know. No just to see how much it does because Tropius actually wouldn't be able to take this thing out very easily and very well because this thing actually does have Stone Edge, which is kind of weird for it to have. I guess it makes sense because it's Fighting type and it's a really, really good counter if someone did have a Flying type Pokemon they're trying to use against it. So I guess smart move there, giving that thing Stone Edge at least. All right, so now um, I'm thinking of what we should do here. Let's just go in with. Uh, oh man, this is this is challenging. I don't know what to do. Let's just go in with Stefani. I guess this is really all we have to do now. Can't really do too much to this guy. So let's go ahead and go for the fly. See, like I said, he does have Stone Edge, and he doesn't seem to miss on me, which is kind of kind of annoying, but it's fine. It won't be enough to kill us, but it will get us down pretty far. So one more of those Stone Edges, and we're dead. But let's go ahead and use a fly. Hopefully this thing can do pretty good damage to him, and the poison's taking him down too, so if we can just do half damage. Oh, he's got a berry. you got to be kidding me. Oh my goodness. Okay, we are, we're dead. I think I don't think we can do this, actually. And he got to go two times before I went once. That's crazy. Okay. Let's see how much this fly does. Please get a crit. That would be so beautiful. Oh my goodness, we took him out. We didn't get a crit either. Wow, we did good. Okay. The good job. Wow, I didn't think we were going to kill him. But all right, we did it. I think we, we defeated Lucian. That's amazing. I did not think we were going to defeat this guy that easily. So we did really, really well. We did better than any practice run I've been through. Congratulations. You've now beaten the Elite Four. However, that doesn't mean you're done with the Pokemon League. There remains the Champion. I should warn you, the Champion is far stronger than the Elite Four. Now go on, step through the doorway to your final battle. Okay, so I think in the next episode we'll be stepping through that doorway and fighting the final battle. Thank you all for watching. I will see you guys next time.